welcome back to Dixie Bell's YouTube channel here for another FFT Friday. If you didn't know, I'm Lauren and I am the Furniture Flipping Teacher. You can find more content over on our channel, Furniture Flipping Teacher. Today, I'm gonna be flipping and updating these two end tables, actually for myself, which I rarely do furniture for myself, but Neiman, who is my boyfriend, and I just recently started renting a house along with this workshop and we are trying to get our bedroom together and we found these end tables and they're they're perfect except for one thing the color so we're going to be updating the color of these end tables and i'm going to be using silk paint in a sprayer for the very first time for myself today so our first step as always is to go ahead and clean everything down with some white lightning I've got my white lightning here already in a spray bottle and it's dissolved in water because it comes in a granule substance. And I like to put it in a spray bottle just because it's a lot easier for me to clean my pieces like that. Then I'm just gonna take some water and wipe down all of the dust and oils and dirt that is on these. So I got these on Facebook Marketplace for just $30, which I probably overpaid, but again, since it's for myself, it's not really overpaying because it's gonna be personally used. When I'm flipping furniture to sell, I really try to limit the amount that I spend on pieces, so that way I can maximize the amount of profit. There's no doubt if I would have bought these new or something similar like this new, it would have been a lot more than $30. So I'm definitely willing to spend $30 for myself instead of paying probably more than $100 for these. And then all I've got to do is put a couple hours of work into them to make them right for me. And now that I've got everything done and cleaned with my white lightning, I'm going to rinse with just some plain old water. My next step is to take a surf prep rad pad and scuff sand the entire surface. Got my rad pad and I'm using the medium grit just for a scuff sand. That's gonna roughen up the surface and allow that paint to adhere to the surface of these. Now I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth and wipe down, wipe back all of the dust that I just created with my sandpaper, but it's really roughed up and that paint is going to stick much better now. So because I'm choosing to use the silk paint, it is an all-in-one paint. So that means that I don't have to do the priming portion of what I would usually do for a flip. So that basically means that we're ready to paint already. I've got my handy dandy spray booth here, which is gonna really help me keep the mess inside of the tent instead of the overspray going all over. One of the reasons why I chose to use a sprayer on these is because of the design here on the sides. I could brush that, but that's just gonna take a lot of extra time. So if I just spray it at different angles, all of it's going to get covered much, much faster. We've got all of our materials. I'm gonna be using Anchor from the Silk Paint line, which is a black color. It's the blackest black you've got on the Silk line and then I'm going to make sure that I use this funnel to help sift out any of the chunks that might be in my paint. So I've got basically a full container of anchor here. One thing with silk paint is that you don't water it down when you're painting it on but in order to get it a tad bit thinner through a sprayer you want to water it down just a tiny bit. So I am going to be pouring some in and then also pouring just a bit of water. So that's gonna funnel through there. Probably did around eight to 10 ounces in there. 
And then I'm gonna just add a tiny bit of water, nothing crazy, not like I would my regular chalk paint, but just a tiny bit to thin it out just that little bit. But the reason that you don't wanna to put too much water in there is because the qualities of that all-in-one primer paint and top coat will get lost in the water if you add too much. So usually it takes just a little while to go all the way through the sifter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my spray gun inside and attach that to the bottom so that it can suck up the paint and spray. I'm gonna start with them upside down and then let that dry for a bit. And then we'll flip them back over to right side up and then we'll spray the tops. I got my respirator on. Now I'm gonna turn the sprayer on and we're gonna get to it. First round of paint is finished. That's not necessarily the first coat because I'm still gonna continue the first coat once this is dry and I flip them over. But then we'll move on and see if we need two coats. If we do, then we'll come back and start on the upside down again and flip them back over. But I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes. Silk paint dries really fast. So once I flip this over, we'll be able to do the top. We're ready for the top. You guys, this silk paint is amazing. It has awesome coverage. And I'm even finding that it has better coverage when I use the sprayer. I've used Anchor before and I've needed a couple of coats, but with the sprayer, it really just spread out really smooth. And then those self-leveling qualities are really happening right before my very eyes. Usually you have that sprayer um, texture that comes with it. And it sometimes evens out, sometimes doesn't, but this paint is evening out so well, and I'm really pleased with the results. And I'm pretty sure, obviously you won't know exactly until drying, until it's dry, but I'm pretty darn sure that we're only gonna need one coat. So that means that these babies are almost done. There is no need for a second coat of these. We've got full coverage and great protection with this silk paint with just one coat with my sprayer and the finish is just amazing everything is smoothed out and you cannot go wrong with this anchor silk paint if you're looking for a great black and you want a quick project check out the silk paint anchor and then all of their other colors honestly are great so I am already ready to go ahead and put these by our bed on either side. I'm gonna get rid of the other nightstands that we've got, except the only thing is I'm gonna to have to figure out some storage for some of our clothes that were in our nightstands because I don't think I wanna have the clothes in there on these shelves. But at least the, this will be a step closer to completing our room makeover. We're just getting different types of furniture and refinishing it along with you guys to show you that it doesn't only have to be for profit to flip furniture, but you can also do it for your own home. So let's bring these over. Excuse the mess. I don't even think I made the bed this morning because we just hopped out and went to work. Ugh. So right now we were using these three drawer Sterilite bins. And you spilled water all over them. Better not happen when you have the new nightstand over here. So I'm just gonna switch these out our new nightstands. We're kind of going for a black furniture vibe, black and gray. And these are gonna fit perfectly right there. 
and then one over here by my side. Well, I really love the way that these nightstands turned out. And I know it wasn't a drastic transformation, but sometimes furniture just needs a little bit of an update to match and go along with your current decor. And that's exactly what we did. I love the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and coming along with us on refinishing our new nightstands. We have got our channel, a Furniture Flipping Teacher, and I would love if you went over there and subscribed right after you subscribed to Dixie Bell's channel. But wait, there's more. We've got another channel. It is our vlog channel, The Flip Side with Lauren and Neiman, and that is where we show our behind the scenes of our lives. And also, we are getting ready to start doing a little bit of some home renovations renovations so things like this room will be flipped or updated on that channel over there so if you would like to follow along our house journey and the lifestyle side of our lives we would love for you to go get subscribed over there thank you guys so much for watching here on Dixie Bell's channel for another FFT Friday we will see you next Friday see you on the flip side